Alright guys, hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is another anniversary recap. Today is Supergirl episode 17 flash 21 and Arrow 22. So without further ado, let's get right out in it. So this episode of Supergirl is called Trinity. So like Trinity means three, I think. I hope. I don't know. So basically, this whole episode basically takes place in the whole other realm on this Supergirl set. So, the problem in this episode is the eclipse. The eclipse made Supergirl see into the dead, the other realm, and see Julia and, uh, say I'm running away from something, and then they, they want to go into a... Uh, 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 the other dimension. Uh, so, at the beginning of the episode, they're starting to ask me questions like, do you have more of this? Now, how, how did you contain rain? And she said she used con kryptonite containment. And so, she, then Kara is worried that she has more kryptonite. And so, Sam and Julie for, are forgetting who they are. And so, since the eclipse is going off up in... The no sun equals no Supergirl. And Supergirl wants to go into the other dimension to try to help him and get him out of there. Uh, Supergirl will sacrifice herself as long as she's in that body. She can we're in the dark dimension and I think we check. Um, Lena, Alex, and Supergirl and go into the other dimension. Uh, uh, Julie, Julia killed her kid. In that, and then she's scared about her kid. Um, um, so the guardian uh, infiltrates Lena's lab to try to find out if she does have more kryptonite. But then, Wynn says, "Blow up the door." James doesn't do that, and he says, "Yeah, he she has nothing here." And so James lies to Wynn. Um, Sam Rain a switch. Yeah, so Sam was in the dark dimension, and then Rain was out here, and so when they switched, that's when they could could find the world killers. And also, uh, before they go into battle, Wynn, Wynn gives Alex a new suit, a magnetic glove, and a gun to make herself more badass. Um... Rain gets powers of pestilence and purity. I was gonna write um, that uh, Rain pulled the Devo, like just holding them and taking their powers. But no, they died and then she consumed them. And then Kara talks to Lena saying, sorry, I just thought. And then James talks to Lena saying, I did something wrong today, and I know you did You did something wrong, and I did something wrong also. So, we're basically a perfect match. So, the quote of this episode is Kara saying, because she could move fast and she never exercised, she would say, why would you ever exercise? And she was normal when she was in the dark dimension. So, yeah. Okay. Episode 21 of The Flash is called Harry and the Harrisons. And basically, we are going to get the council again. But the council kicked Harry out of, of the council of Wells because he was getting dumb. So they kicked him out. Um, so Iris is making an article to possibly tell the whole world about the Enlightenment and what's going to happen. And um, at the end of this... Uh, she keeps getting notifications and s from people trying to help us out, and so they can see you. And so when they see him, they'll text it and say, then say, devote. And then Barry says, devote can't hide from us anymore because of the world knows. Okay, so return to the Harrys. Well, only one Harry, the stupid freaking British one, and then the sexual one because he got kicked out of that one too because it wasn't smart. Um, and they think to shoot the satellites down to use Amunit um, because Kilgore could just hack the gun, whatever gun they have, 
and he's gonna use Null's power to fly him everywhere. And yeah, don't know who else he was gonna use. Oh, he was, he could also just minimize him and move him. Okay, but I don't. Uh, new council and any net missing. So there was like a fifties dude, there was a French one, and then that homosexual one. And they were all rejects and yeah, from their other groups. And so the Harrisons are saying, like, the, the other Harrisons are like, maybe you shouldn't be, think, you should think of it a whole another way. You, sh you shouldn't think, yeah, whatever. Um, new council want to help Wells, uh, Aminet, uh, new Barry was the Flash. Um, Caitlin wanted Aminet to give her powers back, but then, Whatever she wanted to use, the splicer was a placebo, so it was a fake. It was just it was a way to control herself. Uh, Norvok stole, I mean, it's metal stash, and so uh, Norvok gave venom to Barry. Uh, Marles, Marley, okay, so. Basically, what he says, if I have happiness, and then I don't use that happiness, then, mm, I just lose everything. And so, if we used Vo's true love against him, that might work, I think. But that's probably not. Norvok trying to sell the metal. Um, Eminent leaves, but gives team a con conductive bomb of metal. And the quote is Harry saying, you cut me a council for rejects. Because they were all rejects. And the threat of this episode is Norvok because he steals the metal that she, that Amina was looking for. And he also was trying to sell it. And so Norvok was the bad guy of this episode. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Last but not least, Arrow, episode 22, ties that bind. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, it shows us everyone's different perspective of what they're doing. Diana is stopping crime, Curtis is on a date, uh, Renee's, Renee daughter time, and Oliver, Felicity, and William are having breakfast for dinner. And so, Diaz attacks all, and he also destroyed the bunker that they were all. Uh, and so, together, once and for all, um... So, um, they, okay, so, Anatoly is working for them, also working with Diaz, so he tells them, oh, we gotta move, and, yeah, we can't go this place anymore, we gotta go to this place, and so, D so, the Team Arrow attacks Diaz, and Diaz gets away, Mr. Terrific is sprinting after him, and then he gets stabbed, and he, um, he also, for some reason, got a necklace off and so Diaz cares more about a neck about a necklace with the USB inside of it than anything else uh, team wants team is wants to get knowledge of what was on that USB um, so they make a plan to try to get in there and get everything that was on that USB and apparently on that USB is everyone on his payroll uh, so Felicity and Alder will fight like you weren't supposed to go into the battlefield. You are an idiot. Uh, Diaz kills the quotient lady. Or the yeah, uh, CCPDV Team Arrow because he, their hacker dude found where they were trying to hack the USB, and so then CCPD versus Team Arrow and. Curtis rigged the whole place top below if anything turns south. Um, and so Oliver and Felicity stay in for encryption on the USB. It's, it gets almost done, but then they were about to like lose, die, or whatever. So they start going up these stairs. Diaz is at the top, and then Diaz Oliver fight for a little bit before P clicks it, and then they get out and. Oh yeah, ga there was gas in the base too, if, I didn't, if you didn't get that. 
Um, and bass goes boom. And then there's some more stuff. But then at the end, before the credits, he's he's talking to Watson, Agent Watson, or the warden or whatever, try to get her help. And all Oliver needed to do was say the two words, or say two things. And one of them was say that it was Green Arrow and something else. Which that leaves us off with a cliffhanger on the next episode. For the next episode. So yeah. Alrighty guys, hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please leave a big like down below. And if you guys haven't already, please subscribe. I mean, just if you want to. It's not a big deal. Not that I have 30 subscribers or anything. No, I'm kidding. I don't care. Subscribe if you want to. If you don't, I don't care. Peace. <laughs> yeah, I can't release really that. I'm kidding. <laughs>